for your time and then uh, you put the money. <laughs> I, I really understand you trying to save money. Uh -huh. I appreciate that. Yeah. But you don't want to waste your time either, right? No. The bottom line is uh, it's important how much uh, to get the most money than you decide to sell. Mm -hmm. Very important. Very important. Very important. Okay, no. You can't close me. <laughs> okay, Hannah, look, uh, it's about the commission right now. The bottom line, exactly, grasp, grasp, control, get it done, appreciate, accomplish. Paul is about the, the commission, and I can completely appreciate where you're coming from and wanting to do your homework to make sure you do save some money. How important is it to put the most money in your pocket after closing when you do decide to sell? Good, good. We're just bridging right now, right? We're just bridging right now. So, uh, Joel, you hear how she repeats the objection, right? Commission. Oh, okay. Uh, it's commission. I understand. You know, commission is important to you. I appreciate that. Okay. And then she moves on to a question. So let's repeat. Approve. Appreciate the objection. Make them feel good about it. And then move on to a question. Okay. This is to handle resistance or objections. Okay. 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 So uh, look, Isaac, these, these, look, I'm, uh, it's about the commission, really. It's about the commission, Paul? Yeah. I completely understand that. And it seems like you're trying to accomplish a goal of putting a certain amount of money in your pocket at the end of the transaction, right? Right. Okay, great. So other than that, what else would stop us from selling right now? Okay, so uh, uh, that was the appreciation right there, right? It sounds like you want to put the most money in your pocket at the close of escrow. Right? That was the appreciation, saying, look, uh, it's about the commission. Well, what does the commission really mean? I appreciate you want to put the most money possible in your pocket. Acknowledging and appreciating that objection. Okay, George, look, uh, I'm just, uh, it's really about the commission for me. I understand it's really about the commission. Uh -huh. Would it be helpful? Hold on. Oh, okay. Right there. Okay. I can understand that. Feel the same way. I would want to make sure I got value for where I was saying my money. There you go. Good. Uh, mm -hmm. So, how would it be if I broke down the components of what what value the commission presents to you? The comp components of. Hold on. Time out. Time out. Read. Don't think. Okay. That's why you need your book. Okay. okay. You need to. So you go stand next to somebody because you need to read right now. Okay. I don't want you to think right now. I want you to read. It's not time for thinking. It's the only time for reading, right? Because here's, here's the thing. You're going to internalize better questions, and you're a smart dude. You're going to have great questions once you really, once you, once I get it. Once you get it, you're going to have fantastic questions. The fact that he was able, that he approved at a really high level right there, what did you say? <laughs> I want to do it myself unless I do the value. Yeah, I get it. I wouldn't do it myself unless I saw the value in it, right? That was great. That was fantastic. That was true. It's true. Yeah. That, those are the best approvals, the ones that are true. Yeah. Right? <laughs> Absolutely. Okay, James. Look, James, uh, working D's, right? D column. Uh, it's about the commission for me. Uh, influence, win, close, efficient, cut to the chase, driver's seat, uh, achieve. Call, you worry about the commission? Yeah. I completely understand. Let me cut to the chase. How important is it uh, to get the most money when you decide to sell? That's, it's very important, but the thing is, uh, good job, good job, James. The thing is, Jen, is I'm a D, and all I care about is, is the commission. Uh, right, the commission. Uh, D, so accomplish, uh, um, appreciate, control, driver's seat. So, I appreciate you uh, care about the commission. It's important to net the most money possible on your new price. Yep, that's it. Okay, and so how important is it? Um, yeah. Anyone, any bridge, any bridge. Sell a bridge? Yeah. Yep. So how, how, okay. So how would you feel if you were able to sell now instead of waiting? Thank you. Good job. Good job. Okay. All right. We're, uh, if you're standing and playing, you guys playing? No, you're listening. Okay. Good. So then, um, wait. The thing is though, Jeffrey, we're still bridging. I want to wait. You want to wait, Paul? Yep. Okay, hold on. Uh, bottom line, exactly, grasp, control, get it done, appreciate it, accomplish. Okay. All right, Paul, so you want to wait in oh, anything there? Paul, you want to wait? I want to wait. 
great, great. So now I completely understand that you would want to wait. You know, this is a big decision. We want to make sure that everything you do is efficient and gets you bottom line results. So, Paul, how would you feel if you were with them? Good. Well, I feel okay. The thing is, though, Nick, is uh, I'm just not ready yet. You know, I'm just going to hold off a little bit. You're just going to hold off a little bit, Paul. But well, luckily enough, you are in the driver's seat. And I know you're not going to do anything unless you have a full grasp and control of the situation to get the best deal possible. Is that right? That's right. So, what would you think if you were able to sell now instead of waiting? Good job. Good job. Hear that? Clear repeat. Clear approval and then an appreciation. Hey, I appreciate you not going to do anything unless it makes sense to you. And then he moved on to a question. That was perfect. Technically perfect. Okay, there we go. I have it. Look, uh, it's about holding off right now. I'm just not ready yet. The decision market waste time down the position. It's too straight leverage play. Paul, you just want to wait for your plan. It really sounds to me like you want to leverage your time so you can make the right decision for purchasing service or selling your home. How important is it to get the most money when you decide to sell? Good job, good job. Well, it's very important, Max, but the thing is, is that I'm just not ready. I'm going to hold up. Absolutely, Paul. And it's really important to be ready in order to be able to make sure that we get it done and accomplish all of your goals. And, Paul, when was the last time you took a look at the prices in your neighborhood? Uh, well, it's been a while, but the thing is, is I'm just not ready. I'm going to wait. You want to make, personally, mm -hmm. I'm just saying you want, to make, you want to make sure you want the right decision for you. The bottom line is, you don't want to waste your time either. You is there an example to sell now versus later? Can I share with you? Well, I'm sure you can share that with me, Hannah, but the thing is, is I'm just looking at uh, holding off right now. I'm not ready yet. Um, the bottom line is actually grasp control, get done, appreciate, and accomplish. Um, Paul, you're not ready yet, and I completely appreciate that. We're all, we're all here to make sure to accomplish your goal in your timeline. When was the last time you looked at your home? Value. That was beautiful. You hear how she pre I said, I'm not ready. And she goes, no, of course, I appreciate you're not ready yet. But we're here to accomplish your goals and your timeline. That was a beautiful uh, approval at a high level. Uh, approval into an appreciation. That was an appreciate. That was appreciating the approval. Well, that was appreciating the objection, right? But like that appreciation is important, making them feel good about what resistance they're giving me so they feel comfortable with me. Because this is still, you're still a salesperson to them. Yes, you are. Right? I don't want to be a salesperson. I want to be just a human being that's having a good conversation. So when I give some resistance, your, your ability to get on the same page with them, and that's the approval. Isaac, look, I'm just waiting. I'm not ready yet. Well, you're just waiting? Well, I can really understand that. It sounds like you want to use your time efficiently, and when you... When you put this plan in place, you want to make sure that it's going to get done. So, Paul, um, what do you think would happen if we were able to sell now for more money instead of waiting? Uh, well, that could be okay, James, but the thing is is that uh, I'm just, I'm not ready yet. I'm going to wait. You're not ready yet, Paul? I completely understand. And I want you to not waste time and make a decisive decision to move forward. What would it mean if you were cash out now. Beautiful. For a D, that was perfect. Great job. Great job. You ready? Ready. Okay. George, look, I'm just not ready yet. I'm waiting. I understand you're waiting, and, and uh, there must be a reason you're waiting, but I appreciate it, and it doesn't take somebody long to see how thorough of a person you are. So that's probably a good thing. <coughs> a big decision last time. But what would it mean if you could cash out right now? Okay. Good job. Good job. <laughs> Good, good. Now, hey, <clears throat> appreciate the objection, though. Okay? Appreciate I the objection. I by saying he was thorough. I thought he was thorough. And then he didn't take long to see that he was thorough. You know? Right, right, right. Yeah, you did. I guess that was. You don't yeah, yeah. It was? I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I have a laser. <laughs> I have a laser. You. Uh, he did. He did, huh? That was good. Simply write that down. I got you approving. That was good. That was good. That was good. Okay, Jen, look, I'm um, just waiting right now. Just waiting? Yeah. I appreciate that. Um, it's really important to get the most money when you do decide. How do you feel about staying here for a long period of time? Uh, well, no, I don't, I'm not, I don't plan on going here for a long period of time. Good job, good job. Okay, uh, look, uh, Rich, I'm just waiting right now. You know, Paul, I can appreciate that you want to wait. And um, 
you want to do things in your timeline, is that correct? Yeah, exactly. Okay, I can appreciate that. And if there was a better way to speed this whole process up, wouldn't you want to know about it? Yeah, I would want to know about it. Um, but, did I get everybody? Got everybody. Okay. Let's do this, um, a little bit of Fizbo. Fizbo or expired today? Preference? Yeah. Fizbo. Fizbo? Okay, let's, let's do Fizbo. No? Okay. Yeah? Okay. <clears throat> okay, um, here's the thing though, um, Nick, is I'm, I think I'm just gonna go for sell by owner. You're just gonna go for sell by owner? Mm -hmm. You know, ultimately I completely understand that because I'm such a good kind of guy who, you know, wants to be in the driver's seat and wants the most efficient deal possible. Right. And you know, Paul, what's really more important to you? Is it selling on your own or selling for the highest price possible? There we go. Here we go, Evan. Look, for sell my owner, I mean, that's the route I think we're going. Uh, the influence swings closes efficient, cuts the increase, driver's seat, and cheap. Paul, you want to sell on your own? And that makes sense because you've definitely seen the type of guy that wants to be in the driver's seat, likes to do a cheap thing on his own route. And if you, if you have an offer and it makes sense, you got to consider it, correct? Yeah, well, I'll consider an offer, definitely. But the thing is, I'm going to go for sell by owner, though, Goliath. Sell by owner? Yeah. I do understand. There is a reason you're trying to sell by yourself rather than the higher agent? No, I, I want to make as much money as I can. We both know you can sell it by yourself, right? Yeah. And I have lots of sell by owner, just like you. So even after that, you can. Uh, you, uh, just like you, make more money even after the commission. Uh -huh. Even though I can create more visibility for, for more buyers, more buyers means more demand. More demand means the highest price of right? Yeah. So let's get together for 10, 15 minutes. I will share the information that you need. We can decide what's best for you. Okay, that's fine. She's glad going for the close right away there. Good job. <laughs> yeah, so I, I'd say close. Close right now. Close? Yeah, close. Okay, uh, go ahead, um, Max. Look, I'm going for sell by owner. You're going for sell by owner, Paul. And I completely understand. I mean, maybe it'll save you some commissions and you'll have control over the deal. Is that what you're kind of feeling? Yeah, exactly. Absolutely. And, and Paul, I mean, is it more important for you to really sell on your own or is it for selling for the most money possible? No, I, well, I want, I mean, I want the most money possible. That's why I am going on my own. I know. And, and Paul, putting, so it sounds like putting the most the most money in your pocket is obviously your main goal, Paul. So, and I know this may sound a little bit crazy, and if I could get your home sold for more money than selling on your own, just looking at how that makes sense, Paul, uh, that's not a reasonable 15 minutes of your time, is it? No, it wouldn't be unreasonable. <laughs> Great, I'm actually gonna be in the area today at four o'clock or tomorrow at two, which would work better for you. Well, the thing is, is, uh, which, uh, <laughs> sell by owner, I want, I want to put as much money in my pocket as I can. Right. And Paul, what do you think would happen if we were able to uh, keep you in the driver's seat and still put more money in your pocket by using our services? 
Uh, well, I don't know how I'm gonna, that's going to make sense for me if I have to pay a commission. Well, Paul, that's exactly why we need to meet. And look, we're not going to do anything unless it makes sense for you, logistically and financially. So, Paul, do you have today at 4 or does 6 o'clock work better? Okay, good job. Good job. Look, uh, George, um, I'm really thinking about just going for sale by owner. Okay, so you, you're, you're thinking about going for sale by owner, right? Yeah, yeah. Have, have, you, have you looked at the market and you know the pricing? Yeah, I got a pretty good idea. Yeah, I got a pretty good idea. What if I could show you how hard marketing could attract buyers in a short amount of time? No, no, no. I don't want to pay commission. I don't want to pay commission. Oh, you don't want to pay commission? No. Okay. Um, what's the biggest? Hold on, time out. Flag. I forgot my whistle today. Flag. What's the challenge right now? Alignment. Alignment. What do you mean? Um, you're in a little bit of confrontation. You a little gotta, bit of confrontation. You gotta make them feel good about the objection. Make them feel good about the objection. So it's kind of a, a you know, you gotta be careful you're a D, but there needs to be a little bit of consoling there. Right. That's the whole purpose of the exercise of repeating and approving, right, George? Is that when I give you resistance, I'm using that opportunity to repeat. I hear you. Oh, you wanna go for sale by owner? I, let, I can appreciate the fact that you wanna save as much money as possible. I, I totally understand that. I might feel the same way if I were you. When I approve, that melts the resistance so that whatever the next best question is, is better received. And I can navigate them down that route for, to be able to accept what I'm say, saying. So it sounds like this. <clears throat> Richard, look, for sale by owner, I mean, that's what I'm really, that's what I'm really thinking about is for sale by owner. No, Paul, I can appreciate that. And it sounds like you're looking to put the most money in your pocket. Is that what I'm here saying? That's exactly. Okay, and that sounds good. So, Paul, we're both in the business of selling real estate, obviously. So let's talk shop. Now, we both put hundreds of homes to sell in daily, but so far, not yours. And if there's a way to put more money in your pocket, you'd want to hear about it, wouldn't you? Yeah, well, here's the thing. I mean, I just came out of the market. I mean, I, I just, uh, you know, I want to give it a little bit of time. So that's why I'm going to try to sell it on my own. You know, and I can appreciate that, Paul. And most of some buyers owners think that selling their home themselves, that they would actually get a lot of money. And that's a natural conclusion. So I understand where you're coming from. However, Paul, what's the best, I should say, what's the benefit for you? Would it be to sell on your own or to make the most money? Well, it would be to make the most money. That's why I am selling on my own. Okay, and once again, I appreciate that. And Paul, you seem like a very smart person. Let's just get down to the bottom line. If there was a way that I could benefit you financially for about 15 minutes, would you want to hear about it and see what I can do for you? Well, I mean, I, I could take a look at that. Can't you just send it to me, though? You know, Paul, I definitely could send it to you, but I can tell you don't want to waste time, do you? I don't. Great. What time today at 4 or 6 can we get together? Okay, that's a key right there. You can't do that with an I or an S, right? That's a D, though. That was perfect, right? Delivery, uh, uh, I'm addressing it. Know your audience. Right? Now, now I gotta be careful because if I'm a D and I'm talking to an S and I just talk like that. As a D, what's he say? Uh, mm -hmm. how the business of selling real estate, I'm in the business of, of selling real estate, let's talk shop. Yeah. That put down old guard that you could possibly almost have in a sense where you're like, all right, yeah, we're just gonna sell the house. Says the D, receiving the D, right? Mm -hmm. That's why these personality type recognitions are important to understand who are you talking to because something that's a really good response for a D. Might not be is not going to be a good response for an S or an I. Okay, that was good though. It's good, good. All right, Jen, you ready? Uh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Look, I'm just thinking about going for sale by owner. Sale by owner, I understand. And but you know, uh, you're going to try and sell it on your own. A lot of people feel like that in this market. Um, so I'm hearing that you want to save the most, or save all the cost of hiring agent. Is that right? That's exactly it. I just don't want to pay the commission. Absolutely. Well, when we're looking at new information, you'll decide to keep trying on your own, which is totally fine by me. Or there might be an opportunity to use a professional for legal protection and also for saving thousands of negotiations. So, Paul, you're gonna you're not gonna do anything that doesn't make sense. Is that correct? Well, yeah, definitely not. I'm not definitely not. Great. So, what time works great for you today? At four or six? All right. Good job. <laughs> All right, let's do a uh, for sale by owner role play. 
Let's see if we sell by on a role play. Who wants it? Nick will take it, he says. Come on, Nicky. D. It's Miller time. <laughs> Hello? Hi, I'm from the Bob. Is it still available? It's still available. Great. My name is Nick. I'm a real estate specialist here in Austin. Oh, uh, Nick, you know what? Look, buddy, I'll, I won't waste your time. I've already, I've, uh, I've already had a bunch of agents call. I'm not interested in uh, going with an agent right now. You're not interested in going with an agent? Oh, right? no. You know, that's totally fine. You're in the driver's seat, so you can decide whatever's best for you. Are you yeah. uh, cooperating with any agents you brought to your qualified buyers? Yeah, definitely. I mean, I'll pay a commission to an agent like yourself who brings a buyer, but that's the whole point. I mean, I don't want to pay another 3% for the listing side. So, um, yeah, that's the thing. I mean, I'm, I'm not looking for a, an agent uh, right now. Of course, Paul. That's perfect. And, and you know, it's just important for me to know about all the homes for sale. So we can have you on the list of available properties for our buyers. Are you by any chance on the MLS yet? Mm, no, no, no. I'm not on the MLS yet. Okay. You know, just to verify my information here in front of me, what is your current asking price? It's uh, 425 Yeah, did you, did you see it on mine? We, yes, I saw it on the Zillow post. And, you know, if you don't mind me asking, how did you come to that price? Is it based off of any comparables in your area? Uh, yeah, I mean, there was a couple of properties that recently sold in the neighborhood. And look, I, I mean, I just came on the market for sale by owner, so I'm not in a big rush. I mean, right now, if you have a buyer, go ahead and bring them through. Of course. Absolutely. You know, the fact that you're not in a big rush and that you're in that driver's seat is just, you know, that's really great. And, you know, if a qualified buyer was presented to you, would there be any room for negotiating price, Paul? Oh, well, I mean, a qualified buyer, yeah. Right, of course. And as far as showing you goes, Paul, I mean, do you still live there, or is it rented out or vacant? Um, it's actually, uh, it's actually uh, being vacated right now, so the renters are on their way out. Perfect. So if you need to show the property, just uh, call me, and I can give you available times for it. Right, okay. You know, how much time would you need to move once you did it, uh, accept an offer? Uh, well, I mean, I'm, I'm all right. It's, I'd say, 30 days, pretty quick, 30 days, 45 days, whatever the escrow takes. As soon as possible, yeah. of course. And you know, in an ideal world, when would you like to have this home sold? Yeah. I mean, it's, you know, the sooner the better, but like I said, I'm not in a big rush, so if it doesn't sell in the first 30 days, you know, I'm okay with that. Right, right, and you know, this is such a great area, Paul. When this property does sell, where are you planning on moving next? <clears throat> well, I'm, 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 it's gonna be an investment property that I cash out on, so. Oh, yeah, sure, so you're gonna this out, okay, yeah. so. You plan on taking those proceeds elsewhere and invest it somewhere else, or what's uh, the biggest benefit of selling this home? Uh, yeah, well, that's um, right now I don't need this investment property anymore, and I think I've already gotten everything that I can out of this neighborhood, so I'm just gonna cash out. Yeah, cash, cash, cash out. And, you know, of course, comes the worst fall, and the market doesn't present present you with an acceptable offer. But what happens then? Um, well, I mean, I've thought about renting it out. I'm, I'm not. That's not really something that's. I really like to do. I'd really rather cash out. So, right. You know, you need to cash out. And why did you decide to sell yourself rather than hire a professional to get the best deal possible? I want to pay that commission. Oh, it's just a matter of commission, Paul. Mm -hmm. You know, I completely respect and understand that. I mean, you're ultimately in the driver's seat. And I understand that you want to have full grasp of control of the situation. Is that right? Exactly. Right. So, if I can show you how I can put the most money in your pocket, I mean. Just getting together for 15 minutes and see how that makes sense for you and your family is not unreasonable, right? Well, I, look, I know you want the listing, Nick. I mean, I've already had a lot of agents calling me and, you know, kind of saying the same thing that, you know, they can get my property sold and yada, yada. So, um, I mean, I, here's the thing. The property just came on the market, like, this last week. So, I want to give it a month. You want to give it a month? Yeah. Long to wait to this you know, that's, that's great. I mean, luckily enough, you, you know, you're in, you're in control of the situation. And, you know... I'm sensing that you don't want to waste time and you want to get down to business to get the best deal possible. Is that right? That's exactly, I mean, that's why, that's what I'm, I figured the next few weeks I can really explore that to make sure if I can sell it on my own, I want that to happen. Right, right. And you know what? We both know it's possible to sell on your own, right? I mean, yeah. I've helped for sale my owners just like you make more money even after that commission call. I mean, we both know I can create more visibility for more buyers. You know, in return, more buyers make more demand, and that more demand will bring that price upwards. You can uh, understand that, right? Yeah. So if I can show you a proven plan, so like proof how that works, when would you have time to get together for 50 minutes to discuss that? Uh, 
Uh, well, I could possibly do, okay. <laughs> What'd you like? Great approvals. Great approvals. A lot of internalization. A lot of internalization of the script so he could just kind of more naturally flow with it. Right, the conversation. There was definitely a lot of script there, but he was flowing. It wasn't verbatim, right? He wasn't just reading off the scripts. A lot of homework. A lot of homework in there. He's an ego feeder. He's feeding the ego <laughs> to the D. D's and C's need, well, they all need it, but. <laughs> he kind of plants some seeds. Like, so you have this on the MLS, like knowing that he doesn't have access to the MLS? Uh-huh. That's a script question, yeah. right? Okay. Where, were there, where was there room for? He gets a little bit caught in a loop. So the, 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 the um, first of all, listening. I said about the te the tenant moving out, and then you asked me again. So what are you gonna do when you move? And I had told you the tenants were moving out. So what are you gonna do when you move? Well, what's your time frame for moving? You asked me a question in regards to. I think I asked what are you gonna take for those proceeds? Are you gonna pass it? Before that, you said there's a tenant moving out. Say it was vacant. Yeah, yes, you kind of. You got stuck in the script, which is a You got stuck in the script a little bit, yeah. When you said it again, though, you grabbed on to it for the navigator. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, and, and, and uh, relevancy to the close, right? Some of those closes are good, and you've internalized it and you delivered it, but that's where my internalization of the closes helps me switch gears. Like with uh, this scenario, um, the scenario is this guy's an investor, right? Um, he, he's well, uh, and if the property doesn't sell, what's going to happen? He loses money. And what else? Might rent it out again. Might rent it out again. He's kind of he's floating it around a little bit, and uh, and uh, I when he initially asked me, oh great, so what's the, what's the big, biggest benefit of the sale? Yeah, and my answer was what? Your answer was cashing out because you just want you felt like you got everything out of the area. Right. So um, was that? Did I real? Did the prospect really answer the question? No. Not really. Yeah, Not really. Yeah. So what does that mean? And then I actually provide another opportunity for him to come back in on that. And uh, I said something about I don't know what it was, but there was another opportunity to ask a question on that where you where you go. So tell me where now what's going to happen? Do you want to invest somewhere else, or uh, maybe you bring? Sometimes we have to interject the energy where hey, so cashing out. Have you thought about investing somewhere else in Austin, or are you thinking outside of the city, or I mean, what's the next best move on on uh, on, on capitalizing on your next investment, or whatever? Right. Taking a break, a little bit of vacation in your future. Right, 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 right. Some, that, even something light like that, where I'm going to have a little fun with it, um, pay off some, you know, put the money towards something. Something to interject, to create exchange, so the conversation opens up. And this is less about me digging on motivation, which this is, but more about, like, conversation on situation, what's going on. And if I can make them feel comfortable... While still extracting, that's the gold right there. And then my closes uh, uh, shift gears into uh, something around uh, that investing, or something around the money, or something around because you you what what clothes did you use? I kind of like mixed. I mean, I kind of just like internalized it, but I used number thirteen. He did the more exposure close. Right, right, more exposure right. close. Oh, yeah, that's Right, which was a, is a good close, but I'm not sure. It's it was, a little breathy for a D. And uh, I think I, we were kind of like this, like exposure. Look, I'm not. I don't need. I'm not talking about exposure right now to sell me on the idea of using me. What's my value right now as the agent? What is it again? My value. My value plus their benefit equals the appointment. My, what's my value, and how is that a benefit to you right now? Not necessarily choosing me. But hey, look, uh, if I can bring you some information to uh, figure out um, how to get the most money possible, and then maybe something on the rental. Go ahead. Um, the, the same way should be, it's obvious you haven't made a decision about the best use of your money. You're still contemplating renting or selling. So, I mean, let's just sit down and talk about that. Like, what's best about that? Let's not talk about any agreements. Or, let's just get you on a good plan. Yeah. So, I mean, you could have been zero confrontation. There's obvious he needs information. It's obvious. He's saying, I don't know what I'm going to do next. Yeah, 
that would have been my nugget. Like, hey, if, if it's best to rent it, I'll tell you that. This way, it sounds like you're not going into the listing and just that. Non-confrontational close, I love it. Hey, maybe uh, I've used that for uh, agents too. Hey, maybe you should go in that direction with that agent. I mean, I don't know. What I do know is I'll bring you some information and then you'll figure out what's best for you. Bringing people information is part of my job. I don't mind. Tuesday at four or Wednesday at six? <laughs> Boom, done. Non-confrontational close. I don't, look, this isn't about you choosing me. This is about my value right now and how it benefits you. And that equals the appointment. Non-confrontational close, I love it. Good stuff. Okay, questions, comments, concerns? I If it lasted that long, the, the customer indicates his interest okay, in, in the agent services. I doubt it would last that long. What would last that long? The whole conversation. How long did it last? Really, you want to hear a recording? I don't want to pay commission. Because I've been in these conversations, I know you have too, but I mean, usually it's real short. They don't want to, they don't want to pay commissions. They don't want to talk. Georgie, once your approvals are out cold, like I see them growing in this class, then your conversations will lengthen. Tell, tell me, okay. what, yeah, you smiled a little bit. What was that? Okay. You smiled a little bit when he said that. What, what was that? Pretty much what, what, what Slanka said. It's best with what you said, make them feel comfortable the same time extract, while extracting. Yeah, so because, yeah. My ability to help people feel more comfortable allows the conversations to grow. Uh, you, what is it? You, uh, people grow to the conversations you create around them. Correct. Bold law, right? People grow to the conversations you create. You create. That means your energy. That means the value of the conversation you're bringing up. But I have to create comfort with them that this isn't just me trying to get the appointment and sucking the life out of you, right? Because that's how they feel. Because most agents don't have enough skills to have good conversation. So those approvals help them feel comfortable. The good questions that are extracting on situation and motivation. And then all of a sudden, cold turns the warm. What they say, it's, your, it's, it's, not, it's, it's the ability of the salesman to influence the decision of the customer. With your enthusiasm, your <coughs> questions, or getting them to open up and recognizing their personality. Once you can find them to open up, then it opens up like a floodway. Mm -hmm. you know, once you can find what their real problem is and you can, can connect with them in a way, that's when you get them to start talking and them conversations can just go in with. Right. What were you saying? Energy is real. Energy is real. And we're waiting for good conversations instead of creating. And, and we're getting sucked into their drama, or we're getting sucked into their resistance, right? Because they're in total resistance mode. That's expires too, right? And I have to repeat and approve my way through. I have to have better tonality. I have to have better questions that are, uh, that are, are, are uh, projecting value. Huh? No? Think, feel. Think, feel questions just help them own the response, right? Yeah. The reason why they're more resistance and shorter, George, I love you. You ready? Can I coach you? Sure. Yeah, okay. Sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The reason why they're shorter, why they're more resistance and shorter, and the conversations are shorter, is your skill level still here. Okay. And you, when your skill level starts to come up, then those conversations start start turning longer and warmer and more information. And then, and then now you have a real conversation. Roger Hare's on the phone for hours sometimes. <laughs> he, can, he is the approval master. Uh -huh. He listens. Yeah. He, he listens yeah, at yeah. a high level. He listens at a high level. He does not listen to respond. He listens. <laughs> All right, everybody stand up. Stand up. Deep breath. Deep breath in, Nicholas. Deep breath in. Feel that oxygen one more time. Deep breath in. Ooh, that feels good. One more time, one more time. I'm alive, excited, and full of energy. I'm alive, excited, and full of energy. The phone makes 
me money. The folk makes me money. I am versatile. I am versatile. I listen for motivation. I listen for motivation. Objections are an opportunity. Objections are an opportunity. I always ask great questions. I always ask great questions. I have a powerful attitude. I have a powerful attitude. I see myself achieving my goals. I see myself achieving my goals. People need my help. People need my help. My mindset is strong all day long. My mindset is strong all day long. All right, people, we'll go make some money. I'm versatile. We'll go make some money. I'm versatile. We did. I'm versatile. I said it again. <laughs>